All right, so here's what I do for editing audio. I'm using Audacity. This is basically, it's, it's a free program. You can get it from anywhere. Um, yeah, it's it's really easy to use. It, it fits all the basic needs that you need for uh, recording and editing uh, any type of audio. There's other programs you can get, like Adobe, I think, Premiere, or Audition, Adobe Audition, but, you know, that costs money, and this is free, and... Unless you're doing some really, really crazy editing stuff, you don't really need much. Mm. Product placement. Hello, everyone. All right, let's. All right, let's get started here. A uh, couple things to note up at the top here are my level monitors. The newly formed trio of that this top part right there, that is uh, the level monitors. And typically I want to keep my levels uh, around like 18 or neg 18 to neg six. That's generally where you want your levels to fall. Uh, if it gets too loud, uh, then it sounds horrible. And you don't want that. You don't want it to be in the red. That sounds bad. But having it in the green, that's good. Just think of it like traffic lights, green, good, red, bad, perfect. Uh, another thing I do before I start uh, editing here is you want to cut out any background noise that might actually be going on. And this is a really simple method that I use. It's just simple noise reduction that's built into every program of Audacity. You highlight like a, a portion that's really quiet that has no talking in it. And then you just get that noise profile right there. And then you select the entire, entire thing and go back into noise reduction and hit OK. And it's like applying the noise reduction, applying the noise reduction, and the noise has been reduced. And yeah, look, there's like, there's nothing. See, see here in the top, see here in the top, the the level monitors. There's nothing. Uh, that's a that's a little mouse smack. Okay. So this is for the Abaddon and Nova Mortis review. Let's get started. Oh, there, there's one more thing I need to do. Um, Generally, I'm going to amplify my audio a little bit. Let's. Is there any? Okay, there's not. This is my. This is the whole timeline of audio right here. And. All right. Oh, that's. Abaddon, Nova Mortis, and Thunderlord. So the audio sounds fine to me. It it's it sounds fine in the levels. The formed trio of machines. It's like a negative fifteen, but. You can, there, there's more space to use in the audio here. So I'm going to just do an amplification of the entire thing by about four decibels because that's going to, there, the, like the standard one is 5.94 because in this particular one, whatever the loudest thing is, it takes whatever the loudest portion of your entire audio track and brings it up until it almost starts clipping or peaking in your audio. So you can just do that and it'd be fine. But I also don't, like that either so i'm gonna bring it down to about 4.3 then everything is brought up to you know perfect levels in my opinion but, but that's mostly because i'm recording with a really good microphone and it's not gonna blow out your eardrums if you talk too loud so now it sounds closer to this abaddon nova mortis and thunderlord the newly formed trio of machine gun lords is finally yeah, much better. A little bit louder in some of the parts, and then, uh, you know, not peaking too hard in others. Now, that's basically the end of the what what I do to audio before I start editing it. Um, and editing audio for me is really simple. Um, I try to make my audio sound really good the first take that I do, uh, so I don't have to go back in and, like, flub or, you know, flub out lines or anything like that just record good audio and then it makes your life a lot easier because you really can't fix bad audio if your audio is bad you can't fix it if your video is bad you know you can do some crazy after effects stuff fix bad levels and everything but in audio if it, if you got a poopy microphone and you know and maybe a wire is frayed or your xlr cable has a power brick on it you can't edit that stuff out. It's you just can't. If you're, uh, if you are peaking the entire time that you're recording, you can kind of fix it, but it's not gonna sound good in the end. Mm. Sorry, I need more coffee. All right, with with, with that little 
quid bit there. Uh, let's get started. So I'm just going to do go through and then I'm going to be cutting out parts where I flub lines. That's basically all that audio editing is. Abaddon, Nova Mortis, and Thunderlord. The newly formed trio of machine gun lords is finally assembled with the dawning patch. Why are these three all getting reviewed at the same time? Well, because they're the same weapon. The only thing different is their respective elemental damage. So let's get right into it. For muzzles, we have accurized ballistics, more range and impact, increased recoil. Field choke, more range and impact, increased recoil. And linear compensator, more predictable recoil, slight boost to range and impact, more recoil. Whichever muzzle you choose is largely up to your personal preference. The patterns are all pretty similar and the stats don't really change enough to see any noticeable difference. Before I do get into the other perks though, there is one... Okay, so one thing that some people will do when editing audio, I know Datto does this, he doesn't keep any breaths in his, uh, so like right here, it's a little difference. Before, there's a little breath, the where I'm, you know, having to breathe because that's what humans do to speak. Um, that right there, some people don't like having that in their, in their reviews, in any of their audio. I can understand that. So there's a tool that I use, uh, uh, it's called Generate Silence. So right here, if I didn't want this, um, but I wanted to keep kind of the natural pause, it would be there. Um, I highlight that and then go to, I believe it's Generate and then Silence. And then hit enter, and now, little difference. Before I do, and now there's no silence. I personally like to have that there. I, I like to have the breath. It, you know, it when you're listening to someone, there's going to be breaths in the conversation, and having that breath there, you know, makes makes it seem easier to listen to. In my opinion, it doesn't seem like a constant flow and stream of words. Um, yeah, and I also ended up I, I bind. I have since I edit the the Destiny Community podcast as well. I have to silence a lot of keyboard clacking from like Watts or a chair creaking from Pope Bear, or like uh, yeah. Th there's like there's always like a little bit of background stuff that you have to edit out sometimes, and uh, generate generating silence is the easiest way to do that. So I highly recommend that you go into like the Audacity preferences and keybinds and rebind the generate silence. Uh, key bind to something really easily accessible. I have it to number pad two, which I have this crazy, crazy mouse that has all these buttons on the side, and that makes editing. And I have a bunch of key binds and stuff to that, so it makes general editing a lot easier. So I can just hit that and then enter and done. But I don't do that, so I'm just gonna edit undo that. Okay, continuing on. I do get into the other perks though. There is one very small thing to address. Abaddon and Nova Mortis did not receive the recoil fix that Thunderlord had a while back. Here's a comparison with Thunderlord using Linear Compensator, and then Nova Mortis using Linear Compensator. Okay, so the point of having this large gap in the audio is I'm, I'm trying to plan out ahead of time what I'm showing in the video, and I want there to be a break in the audio. So if I need more time, less time, I have ample amounts. If I had, like that much space in between the words, it gets annoying to edit on the video side of things. So I'm giving myself ample space there to fit in footage. Abaddon has the same jumpy recoil. Every muzzle on Abaddon and Nova Mortis has this jumpy quality, while Thunderlord is much easier to control. This is a little puzzling since they all have the exact same stats in the database. Even the hidden stats like recoil direction are the exact same. So hopefully sometime in the future we can see the jumpy recoil corrected so that the only true difference between these weapons is their elemental damage type. So this is actually really rare for me. I haven't had to edit out any flubs. Don't worry, they're coming. Moving along, the perks we have. Moving along. There we go. All right. So here comes the fun parts where. Type. Yeah. Um, you want, you know, when you're editing out flubs, you still have to make it sound natural. And the, the biggest thing is like pauses. Uh, pauses from where you would edit something out and now there's more space or less space. So it, it's something that you just get used to uh, hearing. Between these weapons is their elemental damage type. Moving along the perks, we have Feeding Frenzy. Kills with the... Eh, it's a little bit too much space there. ...damage type. Moving along the perks, we have Feeding Frenzy. Kills much with this better. weapon increase reload speed for a short time. This is one of the perks that... This is one... 
So another thing that I like about keeping my breaths in is it makes it easier to fit different parts of sentences um, into each other. So right here, I flub this line. This is one of the perks that, this is one of the, so the easiest thing for me to do is just edit right after the breath and then start at the next line, short time. This is one of the, and it sounds for the most part natural. So there you go, short time. This is one of the perks that just works really well on pretty much any weapon. If you end up, if you end up any weapon, if you end up using the gun to mow through some ads, then you can reload quicker and have a full magazine to dump into a larger health enemy. Nothing bad about this perk at all. For the stat mod perks, we have, okay, a little bit too much space there because I was like scrolling down on my script. So there's where I got to make this transition sound a little bit more natural. Perk at all. For the stat mod perks, we have perfect that balance. Worked. This weapon has extremely low recoil. Field Scout, increased carried ammo capacity. And Flared Magwell, reload this weapon even faster. I pretty much only get Field Scout here. Back in year one, this perk would also increase the magazine size, but sadly that got nerfed. Now Field Scout will only give you increased reserve ammo. These guns are just super fun to shoot, so I pretty much always go with more ammo. Pacing myself properly, I will generally be able to get through most of the current strikes while you... While mostly you... Strikes... Okay. So a lot of the times when I, again, this is just another thing, flubbed a line, but I keep the, I'll usually start wherever I knew that I last took a breath, and that makes this a little bit easier. Strikes, while mostly using just my heavy, an ammo synth at the start, picking up a box later on, and then a synth at the final boss allows for a massive uptime on one of the hardest hitting weapons in the game. Perfect Balance does offer a nice stability boost, but these guns also have an extremely high aim assist stat, so in my opinion you don't really need stability to hit precision shots. Just look at these quick examples. Does it look like my sights were on the enemy's heads? No. So even though the gun jumps around a bunch, I still feel like you're going to land your shots reliably. So even, th so even though the gun... So even though... There we go. Sometimes you get some really fun flubs. So even though the gun jumps around a lot, you're going to land your shots reliably due to this aim assist. Flared Magwell isn't really needed either. Feeding Frenzy does a good job for buffing your reload speed, and Flared Magwell would only be useful if you were emptying the whole magazine into a boss. Even then, there are reload gauntlets available to help that out. If you're using this gun to damage bosses, I still suggest going for Field Scout, because more ammo to spend is always good. Uh, I, I am live streaming this part right here, so I'm, what you're watching is just a uh, kind of that taken off. And I had a great question from Scardro in chat. Is Audacity better for audio editing than Sony Vegas? And yes, I absolutely believe that. Um, editing audio in an actual audio editing program gives you a little bit more tools, and it's, it's specifically built for editing audio. Yeah, I use Sony Vegas to edit video, and in a pinch, I can edit audio. In a very big pinch, there, there are some audio editing tools there, but... You know, if you're you're editing video, use video editing software. If you're editing audio, try to use audio editing software. It's one of those simple things that will make your life a lot easier. It's good. The final perk. The final is always good. The final perks are negative rounds, lightning rounds, and incendiary rounds, depending on which weapon you use. This weapon, the perk reads, this weapon fires fast. I'm going through a lot of coffee today. Use this weapon. Which weapon you use? The perk reads: This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. These are essentially three modes of fire. There are a there are. A so I, I also, I, I remember when I do flubs and how often I have to repeat stuff. So this is one of those occasions where I'm just jumping way ahead. These are a the longer the trigger is held. These. Are Hmm. Let's let's silence that. It sounds weird. Where is hell? No, oh, never mind. Kind of need it. The trigger is held. These okay. are much better. Uh, da, 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 and then right about there. I kept. I can't remember which line I kept flubbing. There are. A, there are. Is held. There are essentially three modes of fire on this gun, depending on how long you fire it. Normal speed, medium speed, and super fast. None of these modes actually change the damage of the rounds, so each time you tick up in rate of fire, you are drastically increasing your damage output. 
uh, and, and because I'm going to get a question, uh, how come, so I'm talking about Thunderlord and Abaddon and all those weapons, uh, the rate of fire increases, how come I didn't give the actual RPMs and rounds fired? It's because it doesn't matter. Um, I, I can give you exact rate of fires of, uh, of all three fired, uh, rates of fire of the weapon, but that doesn't really like translate well to you uh and when you're using the gun it's like oh this has a 600 rpm firing or 900 rpm firing uh thing or, yeah rate of fire goes up to 900 it's one of those things where the viewer just it doesn't they have no bearing on that most guns don't have uh their rpms listed in the game so it's like it has it has normal medium and super fast there you go that that it's yeah your damage output, the weapon does get a little harder to control at the higher rates of fire. While the perks do say it fires more accurately, it doesn't make the recoil any easier to control. It just kind of makes your shots land, I think. Accuracy is one of those really nebulous things in the game that isn't explained very well to the average user, or experienced user either. The point is, I'd really only recommend ramping up to the fastest rate of fire on a boss, and one that doesn't really move around. You're going to be wasting a lot of ammo if you try to use it to cut through packs of mobs. Just stick to using the first fire mode. This perk was a thing of beauty to using the first fire mode. First fire mode. This perk was a thing of beauty in year one. Since a little bit too much space there, I think. Fire mode. This perk was a thing of beauty beauty in year one since field scout brought the magazine size up to something like 60. my memory's a little bit hazy on that what i do remember is being in awe of how fast the gun was firing now that period of time where the gun hits now that period now firing now that period of time where the gun hits its max rate of fire is very short it's a little bit underwhelming but maybe that's just me speaking from the position of someone who used the gun when you could really take advantage of that faster rate of fire now, onto the PvP section. I'm of that faster rate of fire. One of the things that you notice is that you use the words like now and anyway to transition audio or to transition sections a lot, and it kind of annoys me, but whatever. But maybe that's just me speaking from the position of someone who used the gun when you could really take advantage of that faster rate of fire. Now, onto the PvP section. I'm going to put this bluntly. Your heavy choice in the Crucible really doesn't matter. Truth is the absolute best rocket launcher. Nemesis Star is arguably the best machine gun due to its... Nemesis Star is arguably the... Nemesis Star is arguably the best... Nemesis Star is... I think Nemesis Star. Nem Nemesis Star. Truth is... Nemesis... Rocket launcher. Nemesis Star is arguably the best machine gun due to its time to kill being so low. The machine gun lords... The machine... so low. The machine lords are also really good options since they will always kill in four shots, whether it be to the body or the head. They will also have pretty high ammo capacities compared to other machine guns. Those are the benefits. Without that being said, I personally feel like your heavy ammo choice just doesn't matter. Heavy ammo only comes up once per game unless you're playing Mayhem. Most of the time, you miss picking up the box or you die right after picking it up. If you get ammo and live to use it, then be sure... If you get ammo and if you get okay, we're getting pretty close to the end here for picking it up. If you get ammo and live to use it, then sure, these machine guns are going to absolutely destroy people as they should. But so will pretty much every other machine gun except the max rate of fire ones. The two don't, the two long didn't watch. The two long did. <laughs> Sometimes some words just don't work when you say them. You have to keep repeating it. Max rate of fire ones. The too long didn't watch explanation is, use one of these guns if you want to. They are brutally efficient in their ammo usage, but heavy ammo is so insignificant in Crucible now that I'd just rather kill people as they pick up heavy than bother using it at all. Now PvE, that's at all. Now PvE, that's where these guns shine. This particular archetype of machine gun is known for its incredibly high damage per shot. It will one hit almost every tier one enemy type out there, and it will make every shot work. And it will make very short work out there, and it will make 
there, and it will make very short work of higher health enemies. The final perk also has the added benefit of increasing the rate of fire. A typical magazine is also wonderfully designed for most can empty the entire magazine then swap to a sniper fewer you can empty the entire magazine and then swap to a sniper fewer I couldn't say that line you can empty the you can strikes you can empty the entire magazine and then swap to a sniper for a few hits before you have to go find cover reload everything and then you'll be ready for the next damage phase there's also a hidden perk on all of these guns that gives every kill a chance to explode your target. Pretty much an it's pretty much an RNG fire your target. It's pretty much an RNG firefly that doesn't require headshots. This makes dealing with larger packs of enemies really easy since the explosion will stagger them, which makes shooting them even simpler because they're not moving. Plus, then more things will explode, which is always good. The addition of Nova Mortis and Abaddon also allow you to take advantage of any burns that might be applied to the activity that you're doing, or going against any shielded enemies that you want to be sure to take out. Since the guns are all the same, aside from that recoil bug I mentioned earlier, you can always have an available heavy weapon for an encounter. Say I do the weekly where there's an arc burn active, well, I'll use Thunderlord. Then maybe I'll swap over to the daily where I know there's a bunch of things with void shields. I'll put on Nova Mortis then. I know it isn't as good as having a node that could just change elemental damage type, but still, it's great to have all of these options. Also, it has been a really long time since... Generates, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I think I had to take a drink or something. These options. Also, it has been a really long time since we had another void damage exotic. Just putting that out there. I do have... Putting that out there. I do have trouble deciding on which heavy machine gun to use now, though. Between the machine gun lords, Nemesis Star, and Super Good Advice, all of them are fun to shoot and offer up their own little flavors of destruction. If you're going for pure damage in PvE, I'm going to advise just going with one of the Lords or Nemesis Star. Going a step... Going a step further... Nemesis Star. Going a step further, for a fight where you might want to use the gun to kill adds and damage a boss, I'd use one of the Lords, and for a purely boss damage fight, I'd go with Nemesis Star, since it has spray and play for faster reloads after dumping all of your ammo into a boss. One other thing I to a boss. One other thing I really enjoy about the guns are the extremely unobtrusive sights. They have a really simple red dot with a very bright and open reticle that gives you a good idea of where the recoil of the gun might end up going. There aren't really any downsides to these guns in PvE. They're kind of a powerhouse exotic that's good in almost every single situation. They aren't the best... They aren't the... They... ...situation. They aren't the best weapon by any means, but they aren't detrimental like some other exotics are. Looking at you, Dreg's promise. And I suppose that about wraps it up for the review. And I suppose... ...this promise. And I suppose that about wraps it up for the review. It feels good to finally have these guns available in the game after having them teased for over a year now. Hopefully the recoil issue is fixed in the future as well. If you found this video helpful, a positive rating would be appreciated. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later. All right, and there we go. That's an edited audio thing. Thanks. Hope you all enjoyed. Later.